Back in Mazona. We are back in Mazona, and uh, I think I will just climb some like medium hard roots. How about you? You're not feeling too well today, I think. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of sick, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe just hang a bit in the rope, probably. Yeah. On the 7C plus again, or? Yeah, and I think I might try Fuego as well. Yeah, we should film you on the 7C plus though this time because people want to see it. There's a lot of comments. People, people want to see me, that. People saw me climbing on the last block. Yeah, but I think they want to see you on this one as well. <laughs> so you might have to. Um, and I was thinking maybe try to fix the GoPro uh, on this one. And we could do the same on the Sunset Plus if you fill up for it. Maybe. We'll see. I will take it into consideration. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Ryanair. Just like Ryanair. Yeah, you just got a mail. I just got an email from Ryanair. They don't want to refund the money even though they messed up. So now we have to spend almost a thousand euros extra on the rental car because of them. And they won't even pay us back the initial amount that they charged us for a rental car that we didn't get. Now, basically, we paid for two rental cars and one of which was really expensive since we had to rent it on the airport without booking in advance. So I'm pretty pissed about Ryanair right now and I don't think I will fly with Ryanair anytime soon. Yeah. Just because, yeah, the principle. Mm. Um, I think that's a bad way to do business, kind of. So it's not, not so not much about the money. Not as low cost as they say they are. No, exactly, because when you book it online, it looks like it's really cheap. But then if you do one little mistake, just like if you don't print out the boarding pass, it's another 50 euros. If you don't, if you have a little bit extra luggage, it's uh, another fee. And with this rental car, it was just a lot more expensive than it would have been if we booked with like SAS or Norwegian or any other like, I don't know, more expensive uh, airlines, but more convenient, um, I guess. Mm. So. You live and you learn, I guess.
turn it on on the ground so we don't have to film a lot um yeah we got to film you yeah doing maratona maratona it's a pumpy one yeah. i it looks short but now i get why they call it mar <laughs> like mar marathon because it is feels like a marathon yeah. it's long yeah. Can you see that I'm not psyched? <laughs> yeah. Does it show? It shows. I'm feeling so sick. Like I woke up with a really, really sore throat and a bad headache. And it still is like that, so. But it's nice to power through some things. I get a workout at least. Should get some hot soup tonight. Yeah. Not some instead of pizza, but <laughs> <laughs> as well as pizza. Yeah. Sweat out those bad bacteria or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So now we have done Maratona, 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 Maratona first, and then Super Maratona. Yeah. And what the first one was supposed to be 8B, and the second one 8B plus. But I think they felt about the same. I think. But the <laughs> Super Maratona had a pretty. I don't know, it, it felt really easy, but it's like all like slopey pinches and when you're pumped coming from the ground, it was actually harder than I thought. But I still think that they're about the same grade. 
So, leaving the crag early today, maybe. Yeah. If you're feeling sick, I think it's probably a good idea. And especially if, if we're climbing all the days that we have left, then it's gonna be, we climbed yesterday, so it's gonna be uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five climbing days in a row. So then we shouldn't go too hard mm. any of the days. I think. Yeah, we should pack up. Up. Yeah, it's like a big cappuccino. Because the small cappuccinos, they go too fast. It's like a shot though. And there's a lot of milk and I put a lot of sugar in. And cappuccino and Conte. Conte, that's uh, classic. You need some sugar after a long day of climbing. Or not a long day, but an intense day. Today I feel like I climb kind of like as if Masona was in the gym like I did a lot of routes or a lot of tries in a short amount of time so it's good once in a while to do that as well I feel like and I had a lot of fun actually I think you did not have too much fun but yeah it's getting there I'm starting to feel better I've been eating eating a bit so yeah that's always good yeah. maybe um, maybe you need some red wine I hear that uh, <laughs> yeah Red wine is always good. Red wine is like medicine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not to promote all alcohol. That's, uh, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> alcohol is poison, yeah. and especially for kids. We leave it to the pros. Leave it to the pros. No, but actually when I was a kid, up until I was 20, I didn't drink at all, really. I was really serious as a kid. And then it just all went like downhill from there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so back to this serious corner. Back to the serious corner. Um, I emailed my federation this morning and I said that I don't want to compete in World Cups anymore and uh, I will also not focus on the Olympics. My life has just been too hectic lately to really go full hearted for it and I think instead of trying to do a lot of different things at once I think it's better to kind of at this point in my life try to focus on I don't know climbing outside uh, traveling and also make the gym as good as it can be so yeah it's uh, I mean it's a hard decision but at the same time it's it feels like some weight has been lifted from my shoulders and um, it's something that I've been thinking about a lot and I mean last year I didn't really compete just a little bit um, I mean I'm 28 years now and I definitely don't want to compete until I'm like too old to like I don't know still like climb hard outside I still want to use some of my prime years to to climb hard outside and travel and kind of like be free because with competitions uh, obviously you need to be really serious and um, you need to you need to focus only on that and that has to mean everything to you and right now I can't say that it does so I feel like it was the, the right thing for me uh, the right decision for me so it's pretty, it's like a chapter of my life is over, but then again, I look forward to the next chapter. I always try to look forward, not backwards, so. That's deep talk. That's deep That's talk. That's deep talk. It's not been but a lot of deep talk, I no, guess, no, but, um, no. yeah. It has to be done. It has to be done. Yeah. On a deep note and uh, the vlog. Yeah, before we start to cry and stuff. Yeah, before we start to cry, I don't want to. That'd be terrible to start crying on tape. Um, no, but um, that was it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye bye.